This is an Arizona's family news update. Good morning, Arizona. I'm Javier Soto. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's family newsroom. Four people are dead and one is injured after a shooting in West Phoenix. Police say three men and one woman were killed at a home near 63rd Avenue in Camelback. Right now, it's unclear what led up to that shooting, but police say there are no outstanding suspects. The fifth victim is who is alive is currently in stable condition. An Apache Junction police officer and a suspect are recovering this morning after both were shot yesterday. The shootout happened after a report of a stolen vehicle. Apache Junction police say two men were inside a stolen black truck near 102nd Street and Main. When officers tried to pull them over, investigators say the driver started ramming their police cruiser. That's when police started shooting. One of the suspects fired back in the aftermath. An officer and a suspect were hit. Um, obviously, this is of great concern to our police department. We're a small agency, so uh, everybody knows everybody. Uh, there's not an officer on our department that's not affected by this. Uh, we're a family. This was not the first time officers tried to retrieve this particular stolen vehicle. Earlier this week, police were in a brief chase with the truck, but backed off due to safety. ASU now has a quick drop off COVID test to make things easier for students. It's called Devil's Drop Off. ASU students and employees can pick up do it yourself test packets for free. There are several locations around campus where you can pick up an empty test. No appointments are necessary. You drop it off on your own time at any of the setup locations. It is still still takes about 24 to 48 hours to get the results and the tests are free. Temperatures are going to be a bit warmer for today. We'll climb to the 70s, low 70s. Yesterday we were in the low 60s. Then to the 80s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then slightly cooler weather stepping into next week back to the upper 70s. All right, all right, we'll take it. Thank you, Ian. For updates and more stories, all you have to do is download the Arizona's Family News app. And make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Good morning, Arizona.